Hey, boo. Hey, girl. How you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. Good. Um. Well, I was calling because I have something to tell you. What? I know about the surprise housewoman party you all are going to be throwing for us this weekend. How in the world did you find out? Ma told me. Why would she do that? You know how my mama is. She said that she didn't think it was right for a whole bunch of people to be just coming up without notice, especially since we haven't had the opportunity to finish unpacking and get the house together. Man, that's messed up. She already knew that I had made arrangements with your husband. He said that he was gonna make sure that the house was in order and that you were gonna be ready by the time we got there. Yeah, I know he told me, but for whatever reason, she felt like she should tell me. So I'm telling you because I feel like because you are the one who's planning this, you had a right to know. Now the whole party is ruined. No, it's not ruined. Actually, it's not ruined. We have no idea how much this means to me. All of you all are coming up here just for us. It means the world to me, and I'm just happy that you all are gonna be able to come up here and see the house. But it would have been so nice to surprise you. I know that it would have been nice. I ain't gonna lie, but then, you know, hey, everything happens for a reason. We're just glad that you all are coming. Well, the cat is out of the bed now, so what can we do about it? What can we bring? What can we? Absolutely nothing. You know, my husband just bought his new grill. It ain't that often that all of us can get together. No, Come on, please. I'm begging you. We just bought all of this meat. He got <sighs> his grill. He wants to do it. I talked to him about it, and he wants to be able to grill. Please, 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 please. Fine. It's your party. You can do what you want. Okay. But you can't do anything else. You've got to let us handle the rest. Nothing else, nothing else, nothing else. I promise. Hello? Hey, lady. Hey, what's up? I was calling. Please don't be mad. But I invited a few extra people to come to the party. You all have never met them, and we really want you all to meet our new neighbors. Yeah, sure, that's no problem. Okay, good, good, good. Also, I picked out a few party favors up here that I saw that was on sale. Please don't be mad. <laughs> what did I tell so you? It was cheap. It didn't even cost me that much. It didn't, uh, listen, it did not. And it would be so cute. And with me inviting the extra people and everything, I didn't want to be a burden. The whole idea is for us to throw you a party. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, but you know, I just, I'm excited, okay? I'm excited, you know, I, I know this is what you all are doing for us, but just let me be a part of it. Fine, but absolutely nothing else. Okay, I promise, I promise. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. Hello everybody. First of all, we want to thank you all so much for coming out to help us celebrate and bless our new home. You all will never know how much this means to us. I also want to thank you, Bridget, for putting this together. Even though y'all, I basically had to buy my own meat and my own party favors. What? <laughs> bless her heart, she tried. I had to step in to show her how it's done. But she tried. Thank you so much for that. Anyway, y'all, thank y'all so much. Y'all never know how much this means to us. And we love and appreciate each and every Girl, you made her bring the meat to her own party. Wow. This was an experience that I had many years ago. And let me tell you all, when she pulled that stunt in front of all those people, I was absolutely living. I didn't cut a hot mess, get a food but we did go ahead and leave the party. I know a lot of you out there are dealing with situations like this where you are trying your best to show people love and for whatever reason, they choose to just be messy. It's hard to understand why people do the things that they do. But you all over the years, I've come to understand why some people are the way that they are. And it took me making the decision to quit and reaching my breaking point. I've learned that God allows us to experience certain things for one or maybe all of three reasons. Sometimes he's just showing us how not to become. Sometimes he's just showing us the true colors of people so we'll know who we need to remove from our inner circle. And sometimes he's using us to be a testimony to those who do not know how to show or accept love. So many people have given up the good in them because of the bad in others. Whatever you do, don't let them change you. You just keep being great. If it had not been for the bad in them, I would have never known of God's best in me. This video was brought to you by the BMAC Rights Pearl Patreons. Edith Neely, Tina Garter, Markeisha Martinez, Tony Watkins, Evangeline Gonzalez, Janet Martin, and Veronica. Thank you for your support.